Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Um, we were doing a bunch of free time events last time, but we're running out of food. Well, we have no food. We're running out of strength. We're in the fun house still. Let's see how Hajime and the gang are handling it. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going, if this keeps going until I die. <clears throat> what am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? In the final dead room is a challenge given to you by head Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game... It's just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit's on the other side of that door. That's right. That's definitely it. Then, I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Okay. Oh no, I remember this. Oh yeah, oh, it wa you walk slowly. <coughs> I remember, I remembered this part of the game where He's just so hungry that it just it's just slow to walk. It's just a slog. Um, I don't even I don't think the final dead room's in this place, right? It's in the uh it's in the strawberry tower? I mean not the strawberry tower, the strawberry building. I think. Yeah, there it is. Final dead room. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet. I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I, I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out! With this, I can finally get out! Hold it. You can't do that. Because it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. The that's not true, Chiaki. The exit's gonna be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Right? Okay. Chiaki and I went back to the Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it? Oh. This morning I couldn't help feeling angry. That I said what I said in front of everyone, but... I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Kablam. Huh? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. <coughs> <coughs> Emergency! 
emergency. I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There, I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny, expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and only all he has is his pride because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning to noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad Shocking. about myself. Thank you, Monokuma. My body won't move. This, this never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold, as if the core of my body's getting numb, but I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Taichi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Oh my gosh, even the transitions are slow. Ah, it's already five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grip Tower. All right. Oh, the sluggishness. Man, <laughs> just... Wow. Ah, Hajime, good morning. Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Amazing! My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She, she's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um, um, just the corner is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? Um, you'd get a stomach ache. Oh my! Now there's an adorable shortcake! That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. You about to head over to Grape Tower? Yep. It's almost time. Come on. If you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Grape Tower. Let's not be late for that. Then, I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. <laughs> On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Chapter 4 Do Ultimate Robots Dream of Clockwork? Deadly Life. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. <coughs> my teeth were chattering with horror. What? What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. What? Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. N Nakamaru? No. This is a lie, right? This is just... Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement. It's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing? 
I can't deny this truth, but why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey! Hey! What happened? Uh, Kane, move. Move! Move it! Akane pushed me aside and ran straight toward over to Nekomaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru? Why did he have to die again? Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> Oh, cruel. Th this is just too much. Why? Why did Nekomaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't stop? Damn it. Hey, Nekomaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't forgive hey, you. Who did it? Who killed Nekomaru? Hiya. Looks like someone's finally pumped up. You. 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 Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekomaru? What? what Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went to a lot of trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead and he already let the killer break him. <laughs> How disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose. Ooh. You know, because he's a robot. You about Are you talking about Ne- Oh, she did it. Uh, Akane, calm down. Phew. Use those powers that your anchor has awoken for the investigation. Um, uh, um, Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. hmm. I couldn't fix him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Well, the last time this happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <sighs> I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. In other words... A life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. So... So, even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual it's routine. The Monokuma file! Also, this is a gift from me to you. Red bean bread and milk! <laughs> I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. Damn it. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nekomaru. I won't forget. And you. after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. <sighs> you're right. If we're gonna avenge Nekomaru, we gotta re regain as much energy as we can. Damn it. I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hachime. You too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it. I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! Eat it slowly. It'd be bad if you got a stomachache. We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it! The killer and you, I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. However... Um, regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in Shrubbery House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Hmm, that's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we had Monokuma Tai Chi. Unbelievable. Jeez, how unacceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna well, do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditch? Does everyone include us, too? Do your <laughs> best. Now do your best to investigate. I'll see you again at the class trial. Huh? Uh, I hear. I hear something. Um... Huh? What do you hear? Huh? Huh? Could it be Nekomaru? Damn it. Uh, of course not. He's already dead. Yo! Oh, well. Now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um... And... What about Gundam and the others? Is it alright? <laughs> Is it alright that we have not summoned them here? I like how she refers to them as Gundam and the others. <laughs> Her priorities are... <laughs> 
clear. They're gonna come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. <laughs> Investigate. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Nekamaru Nidai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable. <laughs> Sorry. And it seems they separated due to severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of the body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to severe impact. Does that mean Nekomaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? Wanna kill my file for? Okay. <clears throat> well, let's look at the big hammer on the ground. An enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. It's like. It's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cruel! Perhaps the hammer is the weapon that broke Nekomaru? I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekomaru. This hammer is the weapon? But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. It is strange. Also, no? where did the killer obtain this hammer? Prior to now, I do not believe I have seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no supermarket in here. I wonder where they obtained it from. New looking hammer. Okay. Broken pillar. The pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. Did this pillar break when it fell over? Not just that. There's a strange liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is this an Ekamaru's oil? This is the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one is still standing. Plus behind me is the Lord of Grey Pool. The two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. It's strange that this pillar's the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. <laughs> I see. I got it. Got what? Leave it to me. This pillar is the weapon! The killer used, to, used this to beat up the Coach Nekamaru! Th this huge pillar? Damn it. If you got sucked by something like this, even Coach Nekamaru wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, well, that's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. Now then. Hajime, grab that end over there. Huh? I'm gonna we have to try it out, out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. F fine. Jeez, you're more forceful than usual. It's no use. It's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it! Power! Times three! No, seriously, just give it up already. Why? It, it's no use. It won't even budge. If two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Hmm. Well, there's only one person who could have lived in something like this. Robocoach Nekamaru, he's definitely the only one. To play a pillar. Alright, let's go in on the body. It's Nekamara's body. It's cruelly broken. It looks like it's been so severely damaged that even his head was dented. That'd be a fatal wound, right? But Nekamara's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. For Nekamara to be this damaged, it can only mean whoever attacked Nekamara didn't hold back. Now, that's probably not the best time to think this, but I guess Nekamara was really transformed into a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now that I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nekomaru was still killed. Hmm. It's definitely strange, isn't it? Huh? What is? Well, if they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why'd they destroy his entire body, too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over. You? But they weren't... They went against Coach Nekomaru. He ain't the type to die easily. They obviously didn't fight him head on, but even then he wouldn't leave himself open to attack. You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nekomaru was even stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who'd be capable of killing him. 
Anyway, this alone isn't enough information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. Um, okay, head. Huh? Something protruding from behind Nekimura's neck. Is this... It's red. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good knack button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Maybe the killer pressed this button and made Nekimura into sleep mode? But still, it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekimura's neck. Even if Nekimura was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. Good night button. Okay, so that was the head. The chest. This big fat chest. The cover of his chest is open slightly, but it won't open much more because the cover's all messed up. If only Kazuichi was here, we might have been able to open it. Jeez, what the heck could he be doing right now? Um, wire? There's a sturdy metal wire tied to Nekamara's left leg. The same wire is tied to his arm. It's almost like he was bound up or something. But even if they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with the robotic Nekamara first. Who did this and how were they able to bind Nekamara? Also, the tip of this wire. It looks like it's been tied in a loop, but what was the point of this? Metal wire. Um, okay. Uh, one, two, oh, the blood, the oil. This fluid flowing out of Nekamara's body. Based on the smell, it seems like oil. It seems to be flowing heaviest from Nekamara's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. This oil. For Nekamara, this might be similar to normal blood in humans, which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to even worry about that. Oil on the floor! I guess for now, this is all I can do to investigate Nekimara's body. I should back off. Um, the door? What is this? The door on the far back is a chain wrapped around the doorknob. It looks like it's a sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction, and it even has a padlock in it. Why did they do something like this? Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with a key. If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from the Strawberry Hall side. After all, this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they need to bar the door to Strawberry Hall? Chain? Okay, let's go from left to right, Akane. Did you find anything? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Looks like you haven't found anything yet. Leave it to me. We need clues, right? I'll remember something, so just wait for it. Hmm. hmm. Looks like that's gonna be a little hard. Yeah. Oh, I remember! There is something I thought was weird. Um, it happened early in the morning. You're going back that far? Like. Come on, you noticed it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound? Rumbling? Kablam. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground moving thinking too much. Um, I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was, but that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room without thinking, and after I did that, then what happened? Hmm. I didn't see anything, and it looked like the others didn't come back out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell asleep. What's that mean? In the end, I never found out what that sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. What was that sound? Hmm. You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will we be able to find anything out with that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning. But I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Huh. Why? What the hell? I went to the trouble remembering that and you got nothing? Jeez, you're so damn useless. She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. Alright, that's Akane's account. Chiaki? Huh? Huh? What's this? Did you find something? Well, um, under Nekomara's body. No, wait. There are small rock-like fragments under Nekomara's body. You didn't need to correct yourself like that. And what do you mean rock-like fragments? See? Here, look. There are lots of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Nekomara's body. Well? But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Nekomara's body, there are hardly any on top of his body at all. What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? <sighs> yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. 
Well, if you put it like that, now I can't help but think they're important. Pillar fragments. I guess for now I've checked out everything in this place that caught my attention. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the final dead room. The final dead room? What the heck? Why are you bringing up a place like that all of a sudden? So, well, the hammer on the floor, the chain wrapped around the door at the far back, and the wire that tied up Mekamaru. All the evidence at this crime scene consists of things we've never seen inside this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, then there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. So that's why you mentioned the final dead room. Monokuma said that beyond that room, there's an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. Yep. Yeah. So if we think of that place like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? Then... If so, let us go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Well, then I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Huh? What are you saying? You were the one who said that place was dangerous, right? Yeah. Man, it's noisy. I can't focus at all with all this noise. S sorry. It's not like huh? that. It's not you guys. There's a sound that's been ringing ever since the investigation started. A ringing sound? Since before the investigation? That reminds me, you've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Akane, what kind of sound is it? Um... It's like this high-pitched alarm clock sound. It's probably ringing from upstairs. Could it be? Maybe it's better if we go check out that town first. Huh? Are you gonna check it out? Then you guys go out. I'll, I'll stay here. Then I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. Sony's okay, but how come you're not going, Akane? Uh, hey. W well, that sound is annoying, and I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Hajime, it's okay if it's just the two of us. Come on. Akane said she wants to stay here. Huh? Oh. I get it. She she doesn't want to leave Nekamara's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not, but... Yep. Let's go, Hajime. Yeah, if you say so. I'll do anything you say, Jiaki. Alright, let's go upstairs to that ringing sound. Ooh, we can already hear it. Um, up here? Oh, it is louder. Jeez, it's so noisy. It looks like that phone is ringing. The phone, huh? I guess I'll answer it. Let's see, just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button, right? Damn right. Oh, you finally answered! That voice. Is that you, Fihiko? Jeez. Jeez. Do you know how loud the phone was ringing? I was getting worried no one would pick up. What, what are you guys doing? Are you still in Strawberry House? Like... Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. And we can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button in there is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Not only is the elevator broken, but the Strawberry Hall door button is broken too. Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Y yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone in Strawberry House is safe, what? right? We're safe, but... We can't find Nekamara anywhere. Do you know anything? Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? Damn it. So that's what it was. Shit! Why did it have to be Nekamara? He just came back to us. Where was he killed? Grape Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already. I see. I see. Grape Tower. If the door to Strawberry Arm wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and... Holy shit, that's it. The killer broke the elevator and the strawberry hall door so they could split everyone up and prevent us from doing a proper investigation. Dumbass. Damn it! The dirty bastard! W what about another way? I is there any way you guys can come to this oh, side? Yeah. I guess we just have to let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. You're right. Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, when the hell will he, right? Like... <laughs> Jesus. Based on what Kazuichi said, it's gonna be hard for him to fix the strawberry old door without parts. But he said he might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll be waiting. Are you guys gonna be okay? Damn right. Yeah. We'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. Until then, it's up to you bastards! Hey, hey. So the call came from Strawberry House? Apparently the others can't come over here because the elevator's broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. They prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. 
As long as the elevator's out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. <sighs> but that's not all. For some reason, even the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken, huh? too. The door button to Strawberry Hall? Um, then that door... Is it blocked from both sides? There's a sturdy chain tied around it from the inside, and if the button's also broken on the outside, then... Yeah, that seems to be the case. Mm. Huh. Why'd the killer need to block both sides of the door? I'm not sure, but there's something strange about that. Um, I'd like to investigate that in more detail, but if they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means for now, it's impossible to check out the final dead room. I'm not entirely comfortable with you going over there, but regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently Kazuichi's repairing the elevator. All we can do now is put our hope in him. Huh. Alright. But Monokuma isn't going to wait. I doubt we have that much time before the class trial starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix it soon, if not. Hey. I. You. Even. Listening? Hey, bastard! Hey! Are you listening? Damn right! Nagato, I'm talking to you! Huh? Alright. That's a pretty good thing, I'd say. Um, Alright, so we are going to be back in the next episode. Uh, we are firmly in the second half of chapter four. Or the second act, I guess, if you consider this to be a three-act structure. So we're in the second act of chapter four. And uh, we have switched over to the Strawberry House side. So we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.